situation around Lake Chad is different compared to relations between other riparian countries. But there is one misperception around the conflict in the Lake Chad region that is relevant for the responses to the current crisis. On Lake Chad, there is one prevalent, widely believed narrative that Lake Chad would be shrinking and decreasing water resources would contribute to the current conflict. Therefore, regional governments often demand to recharge the lake, but to simply recharge the water in the lake would not address the root causes of the conflict. Our research found that the lake did not shrink over the last 20 years. Whilst the lake contracted significantly due to drought in the 1970s and 80s, the lake remained stable over the last 20 years. That is not to say that Lake Chad is not affected by climate change. Quite the opposite. Climate change is having profound adverse impacts on the conflict around Lake Chad. The increasing variability in the timing and amount of rainfall and wide temperature variability are undermining people's livelihoods. The resulting uncertainty means that those who depend on the lake no longer know what to plant and when to switch from one livelihood to another. Communities in this region are thus vulnerable to both the impacts of climate change and the ongoing conflict, making it harder for the population to cope with and adapt to climate change impacts. Meanwhile, climate change is aggravating the political and economic conditions that gave rise to the conflict in the first place, undermining efforts to break the conflict cycle. So we see that in the case of Lake Chad, the narrative of a shrinking lake is often used by regional governments as an explanation for the current conflict and also to distract from own failures and to promote supposedly easy technical fixtures instead of addressing the underlying causes of the conflict.